Good afternoon my all dear students. I hope you all are fine. So, today is your final exams result day of Shen Star Public School and College. The good news is this almost 89% of students passed the examinations with uncredible marks and get 95% in the final result, in advance congratulations to those who get 95% marks in final exam. Now I am going to announce the names of those brilliant and shining star students of my school. Please come to the stage and take your medals. As a principal of this school, this is my honor, to present the medals to all the shining and brighting students, sitting in front of me. And also this is an honor for me, that I'll award your medals to all the topper students. And one of our most shining and brilliant student Julia Asher, please come to the stage and take your medal from me. She got 97% marks in final exams. Please come to the stage Julia, and big clapping for her. Many congratulations Julia, and I hope you'll continue making of your records in your next higher education as well. You are the best example of this school and college. May God give you more success in your life ahead. Very well done. Thank you so much Principal Sir. And here all the teachers are so much hard working and they keenly focus on their students. It's not possible to achieve my goals without my teachers. Thanks to them and my mama too. Well thank you again Principal Sir. Leo Asher please to come the stage and take your prize. Leo Asher got 95% marks in the final exams. And raised the name of his parents and also raised the name of this institute as well. He stood first in all the departments. Congratulations Leo Asher. Very well Doni. Many congratulates Leo Asher. You did a great job man. May you succeed in your life ahead. Amen. Thank you so much sir. This is all because of the prayers and hard work of my parents and teachers. Well congratulations again man. Wish you best of luck for your future ahead. I want to see you more and more flourished. Sure sir, and thank you so much. Hello mama I came here directly to your workplace. Only to tell you. Mama I got highest marks in my school. So I don't want to wait until you come back home. So me and Julia, decided to came here directly to tell you this big achievement of your children's. Wow my son. Love you so much. Leo I know this before honey. I know you will get highest marks, you are such a hard worker and genius my boy. Because I believe in you my son, that one day you'll make me proud. You are a gemstone my little boy. Come here to me Leo, this is all because of your hard work. I just want to hug you my son. And what about Julia Leo? Tell me about her too. Mama Julia got a gold medal in her whole class. Because she break all the records of this Starshine Institutes, today. She got 97% marks. Oh my god. I can't believe on my ears, and good fortune. Oh thank you God, for giving such big day of happiness. Where is your sister then? Mama this all because of your hard work, and day and night struggles. Well, look at your back Mama, Julia is there. I am so happy for you my daughter. And you both make my day. You make me so so proud. Julia did you tell this to your papa, about your final exams and its result? Mama please leave this topic. You tell me this, have you done your lunch? You see, I'm so much hungry mama. Julia did you tell to your papa, about your and Leo's results? For God's sake, mama please stop it. Julia, what is this all about? Don't you bother to answer my question. Just answer me first. Yes mama, I called him twice today. He said call me later, I'm busy in some lottery show. Then again I called him, after a few hours. Again he start shouting on me. He said you don't understand, I told you that, I'm busy here. 
You have no idea mama, but papa also start working as a commission agent for the different lottery shops. Because when I called him, today he forget to disconnect the call. And I heard, he was saying to someone, give me good commission, then I'll take you the Mason lottery shop. Then I disconnected the phone. I hate this mama. Oh, not again. I don't know what he wants to do more with us all. Well you both go home please. I will order some pizza and pasta for you both, just eat that properly. Then I'll see you in the evening. My dear sister Julia, you shouldn't tell this to mama. Now see, she gets so much upset because of our father's non-seriousness. Her mood was so pleasant after listening to us, then at once. It was so spoiled due to Papa. I don't know, why our Papa is like this. Why he used to irritate Mama a lot, by playing lotteries and doing gamblings. You see Leo, Mama forced me a lot to tell her about this, I didn't tell her anything intentionally. Then I told her about Papa, otherwise. Why should I spoil her mood, cause I saw her smiling and being happy this much after so long. Well, you are right. What we can do about this all, it's now Papa's bad habit and built in nature. I just hope and pray to good God, that one day everything will be fine. Let me get a job, I'll not let Mama work at all. And I will provide every single and a happy life to her, what she lacks in her life. Yes I also want to see everything fine now. I'm so much tired because of all this pathetic things Leo. Hi madam. How are you? I came here to know about the results of my children. Alice William and David William. Mr. Williams. I was also waiting for you. Today even many other students. Those who failed last year and they stayed in the same class. But this year they also promoted to the next class. But your kids Alice and David, the failed again in all the papers. Mr. Williams our college management also decided this we have to expel your children's names from our institute. Because they are so dull and dumb-minded students, they have interest in all other things, but not in their studies. You even don't know this year all the teachers gave their full focus on Alice and David. So that, they get through this examination and went to the other class, but the result was the same. They again failed in all the subject Mr. Williams and get only 12% marks all over the course. Sorry to say, this is so ridiculous, you should have to focus on them and let them send to any boarding school. Otherwise, I don't think they can do any kind of studies. Sorry Mr. Williams. Well, you have to find any other institute for them. We already expelled them. And the other teachers and staff told me. Your son, David he used to come here to this college to shows off his money, cars and he only talking with other students about upcoming movies and series. He have all the information about the brands of clothes, brands of watches and so on. And same your daughter Alice did so. She told the stories of all the drama serials, movies and all that. But her focus is not on the studies, but in fashion. So tell me sir how we can take these kind of students in our college. Sorry sir. You have to focus us on the upbringing of your children, they are so spoiled, ill-mannered and stubborn. They don't know the basic etiquettes of talking with anyone, not with elders, not even with youngers. Yes. I think, you are so right madam. And I totally agree with you. And I'm so sorry for this all. What happened Williams? Why you are looking so tense and upset to me? Again failed. Both are. Again failed in the final examination Mary. I don't know when my kids will come to the red track. When they will follow their parents. When they will start to give us respect. Their principal was telling me, they have no manners, 
no etiquette and they don't know how to talk with anyone. I feel so ashamed in front of her. And now you see Mary, they again failed in their examination. The management expelled them both from their institute. What we will do now Mary? Alice and David, just roving about without a fixed destination. I'm so much worried about their future life ahead. William I told you this before, many times I warned you about their activities. And here, I'm again telling you this. This is all because, they always get an easy money, they didn't have a single bite from a pure money, which you earned by hard work only, but with tactics and frauds. They don't wear the clothes from any of a pure money. You always used to call my brother Asher, a gambler and a looting man and all that. I never feel it. Because this is a bitter reality. Now go and see he left his job, day by day his face looks so changed due to the high uses of drinks. His wife Susan, she is working day and night, she was surrounded by troubles, but she is just break herself, she is so diligent. You know Williams, she is working for 16 to 18 hours a day, she is so sedulous, to feed a pure meal from her pure earned money. But you only focuses to earn money through your illegal sources, it's all the easy money, and it will goes the same, easy to go, easy to rise. Your company blacklisted two times in this year, but you paid a very high amount to get relief from the departments, and saved your company. No difference between you and my brother Asher. He is making black money in front of all, and you William, making black money back of the stage. And due to this all, you can see through your own eyes now, your children and their bad behaviors with everyone. You see this clearly. How they are doing, with you, their own mother, me, and with the teachers as well. This is the same as your behavior. You treat other people like an animal. I told you this many times Williams, there is a superpower in justice, we human can't see. And today I must say this you and your kids spoiled the childhood of Leo and Julia. But due to Susan. She is a brave and talented mother, she saved her children from this hell, which is planted in our house. And I know one day Susan's kids will succeed in every battle of life. And surely, they will be the most respectful people of this society. I know, I also lack something, in the upbringing of my own children, but I was so helpless because of you. Alice and David, they both have your full influence on them, not mine at all. Shut up and get lost. You started again Mary, you are such a silly woman. Always just need a chance, and you started to giving me the stupid lectures. And listen here, I have a lot of wealth, and bank balance. I have everything. Even if David and Alice, don't want to continue their studies. Then, they should not be worried about this all. I can feed them for their whole life. And you are talking about my money. I also work so hard day and night to get money from the market. And you tell me then, if it's an easy money, not a pure one. Then, why you use that money for yourself? Go, just like your so-called Susan Elias, and make your own money for yourself. When you'll start it earning. Then you will know the real value of it Mary Williams. Now, go away from here please. Wow William, you just said that so right Han. Now listen then, it's my bad luck, that I am your wife, I am so helpless in this matter. And I have no more place to go. I have not my parents alive, to whom? I shall move to. But, listen to me very carefully Williams. I'm so much oppressed, that I married a man like you who is so much swine and rude. It's the obligation of a man, to treat his wife gently, give her respect in front of everyone, especially in front of their own children's, so that they also respects her and others too. But it's my, bad fortune, I ate with your money, I stayed at your home, see Williams. I also have some rights as a wife. But, you will not understand this at all. Gods know me in my nature as well. One more thing here I want to tell you Williams. Remember these golden words of mine, there is always a anticlimax, there is a decline to every, rise. So choose wisely. Be humble and down to earth. Love everyone, respects everyone.
Julia, my dear daughter come here. Yes mama. Julia sweetie, today I get my salary from pharmacy I worked for. I want to give you some money. You have to go with your brother Leo and should buy some new clothes and yes you both also buy your new pair of shoes. And some snacks and fruits you both like. Thank you so much mama, you always take care of us. I'll go with Leo for shopping. Susan, last night I called you many times, to come into the room. Why you didn't came? Will you sleep here, on this couch? Asher, did you consider me as your wife? Did you ever follow my right and sincere advice ever? Then why should I sleep with you? Oh shut up. I don't want to listen your nonsense, and give me five thousands. I don't have any money. I've already gave it to my kids, to buy new clothes and shoes. I said give me money now. You don't listen to me, so you get it, what I just said to you. Asher Elias, I said, I don't have money. Give me money. Take my card and withdraw all money. I bring four people along with me now. Sir please give me my commission. Okay good, well Asher, you have to come later on, in fact after my show. Then I'll pay you dude. Everything is ready? Yes sir. All commandos are ready for the operation. And seven vehicles of the police will go for the operation today. Where is that guy Daniel? Sir we already took him under arrest. Last night from his home we grabbed him. And locked him up in our custody sir. Good, now let's move for the operation okay. Mama what happened? I don't know Julia. I feel like, my heart is drawing, I don't know why. Please call your papa and ask him, where is he now? Ask where is my Asher? Mama I just saw news on TV, police already started the operation against all the gamblers in lotteries shop mama. It's on news, on every news channel. I'm now, worried about papa because he is also the part of this mafia. No, no. 
Where is my phone? Please give me my phone. I have to make a call to Asher. Please, I pray he must be safe from all this. Oh no, no. Listen, Julia and Leo. I'm going to find your papa. I'm going to Carter's house. He will help me out in this matter. He knows about where his lottery shops and where your father usually goes. Yes, I'm just going to him. Susan, what are you doing here? Everywhere, you see Rhoda is blocked by the police authorities. You should have to stay at home, why you came. It's so dangerous outside. Don't you watch the news? I was looking for Asher, I know this all about the operation. But I've to come to you. Because of my husband, Asher. He is not at home. Please tell me the exact location of the lottery shop. I've to go there to seek Asher. My husband is in big trouble. I'm so worried about him. You are the only one. I know in his friends. Please Carter. Help me. Oh no, no Susan. We can't go there now. You just go back to your home please. We are not allowed to go there by any chance. If we go there, then police will arrest us too. So it's better. You should go to your home, to your kids. And kindly, stay there. Asher will come to home soon. Don't worry. Sir, I come here with a one request. What happened Miss Susan? Your eyes are so swelled. Tell me please and be seated here. Relax and tell me what happened. Sir for last three days. My husband is in jail. Police caught him in operation. He was a gambler and he is so addicted to these fake lottery shows. So police caught him during operation. Sir I am women for me this is not easy to go police station. You are well-known person in this city. Maybe due to you police give him some relief. Okay. I will talk with police today. Don't worry. And relax Miss Susan. Thank you so much sir. Wow what a big surprise for us. Today you came here sir. How are you? Yes, thank you I am fine and fit. Well, I come here for someone his name is Asher. Three days ago police caught him in operation from lottery shop. I will be thankful to you. If you give him some relief or release him. I give you his surety. He will not participate again in lottery's show sir. Sir you are right. And I am agree with you but sir, we can't release him at least nine months. Because sir from federal government we risk of this strictly orders, not to try give any relief of this mafia. Because due to this mafia people lose their millions of dollars. Okay sir thank you. 
Sir, you are a respectful person of this society. And I respect you a lot. But due to top orders we can't do anything now. Because this is most highlighted operation. Even international media give live coverage to this operation. Mr. William, please come with me to my office. I am from anti-smuggling department. We have proofs against your smuggled company. You are selling smuggled things in the market. And you are not paying tax the government. I have order too. So don't be over smart now. Come here. Sir listen please. We will listen you in our office come with me now. Raise your hand up. Asher Elias, today we release you from this jail. And I hope you get your lesson. You can go your home now. Thank you sir. And I get my owl lesson in last these months. This nine months opened my eyes and I learned many things from this nine months. And yes thank you so much for releasing me. By Asher Gambler. By all shortcuts in life. By all wrong source of money. By all negative thinking. Buy all fake things in life. Buy all bad things I done in my life. Buy old Asher buy. Papa. Mama Papa. My Papa. Where is your mama and Leo? Asher. You are Asher. Susan please forgive me. Please. I get my punishment for all of my mistakes I ever done in my life. But you Julia and Leo please forgive me. I did so wrong with you and with my kids. Susan please forgive me. Kindly give me five red rose and five white rose, please. Okay, sir. Just wait two minutes. Okay, thank you. Hello, how are you all? I am a Dr. Leo Asher. Hello, how are you? I am Julia Asher, software engineer. you all thank you for supporting us and if you like our channel please like share and subscribe naja cartoons thank you